Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Sage Experience. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the things that nobody ever talks to you about when you are in a diet. Some of the things you completely have control over and some of these things you have no control over whatsoever. But today, I'm going to be giving you seven tips that could potentially help you make these go a lot smoother or help you at least understand them a little better. And once you hear all of these, please go ahead and leave a comment down there and let me know what you guys think about it. But let's jump right in. So one of the first things that nobody ever tells you is that your weight will fluctuate guys on the daily basis your weight will fluctuate whether it's one to five pounds that is the most common thing that I have seen I've asked other people um, other of my friends when they're doing a cut usually it tends to be anywhere from one to five pounds that is the average this could be due to weather whether you live like somewhere in the North Pole versus Miami one is very hot the other one not so much you know you would think that when you're in the cold you're not gonna lose as much weight but actually it takes quite a bit of energy to be moving around in really really cold places the same could be said about living in Miami Miami is a very hot and humid place so you're gonna need to intake a lot more liquid which could potentially represent a bigger number in the scale at the end of the day so you have to take all of these things into account nobody ever tells you this but yes this is something that definitely moves the scale up or down so definitely be conscious whether you live in a little bit more of a cold environment more neutral or some place where it's very very hot your water consumption your climate all that should be taken into account so just realize that your weight will fluctuate back and forth one to five pounds is the average the second thing nobody ever tells you that goes right along with number one is the scale don't get so fixated on the scale guys your weight will fluctuate on a day-to-day -day basis whether it's one to five pounds as discussed but don't just get fixated on the scale some of the things that you have to look at other than the scale is how do you you look one big teller of whether you are losing fat or not is the mirror the mirror is a really big help and I'm not saying just to go buy the mirror but then go ahead and correlate that with maybe some pictures that you've taken so that's why it is kind of important now we have technology we have cameras we have a lot of things at our disposal we have cell phones we can take selfies I know that's a little vain but go ahead and take those selfies to just help you record how you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and that way you can definitely assess not only by, by the weight on the scale but also with what you see in the mirror those two together can help out quite a bit. I know that on a daily basis, if I drink a lot of water, I can definitely see it a lot more the next day. But if I retain my liquids just a little bit, I can fluctuate anywhere from one to three pounds. And that is very, very visible in the mirror. And it's also very visible on the scale. So. Don't just go by one thing. Use the scale, use your pictures, make sure they're taken in the same lighting or very similar lighting. How much water you drank the day prior to, how hot it is that day, all those should be taken into account, guys. Number three, you're experiencing some hair loss. If you're experiencing some hair loss, that could potentially mean that you're not giving your body enough fats, enough calories. If you're taking any steroids of any kind, it, you could be overdoing it. There's several factors that go into this, but it's not just one thing alone. Usually it's a combination of things. People like to always blame it on steroids. You know, oh, I'm taking too much of this, too much of that. Most of the times it's actually very much correlated and I know correlation does not equal causation. Usually it is correlated because you have way too little calories. You went too aggressive on your cut to start off. So make sure to give your body the proper nutrients. Even though you're doing a cut, you shouldn't be in a massive deficit. Otherwise your body's gonna feel it. And you will, one of the first places that a lot of people start seeing it is in hair loss. Number four, you will be cold. I'm actually cold right now because I'm in a around 200 calorie deficit right now at the moment, but this is normal. We usually use the thermic effect of food to go ahead and keep us warm throughout the day. Usually when 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 I feel super cold, especially in the mornings, because usually I wake up and we're fasted from the night prior, I go ahead and I get some food in. And once I get some food in, I feel warmer almost like not instantly, but like a couple of minutes later, I feel much, much warmer. This is a very natural thing, especially if you're in like a big deficit. I try to aim for anywhere from 300 to 400 deficit max, and I'm going max just because of the way I like to think about it. I usually go for a bigger caloric deficit in my brain, but I end up hitting the normal of 100 to 200, which is I think is a, a decent 
target to hit. So overestimate and kind of get exactly where I want to be. That's that's how I treat it. But just know that this is a very normal thing to feel cold when you're dieting. But if you're feeling extremely cold, just make sure that you're aware that it could potentially be other things. So definitely look into it if it's too extreme, but it is normal to feel a little cold from time to time. So number five, make sure you set your goal and make sure you stick to it. One of the things that tends to happen is a lot of people get derailed from their goals. One of the things that I have found that happens to me is people start giving me more ideas. And so I start ruminating on some of them. And so I kind of start to veer off of the path slowly. I know this has happened to me and I know I'm a very curious person. So I like to try out new theories, but right now I'm in diet mode and it should only be dieting to attain the goal or not even diet, just, you know, attaining a different lifestyle. I want to cut a little bit of weight. And at the moment, this is the goal. So make sure you kind of put those blinders on for a little while. It won't kill you if you do it for a little while, but also don't shut off the rest of the world. It's got to be a good balance, guys. So make sure you set your goal. Make sure to hear only the people that you really trust, the ones that will aid you on your path, on your goals and set those blinders and keep at it. Number six, there's no way around this, guys. There will be haters. There's always a hater out there, whether it's on social media, if you're posting your gains, if you're posting that you're losing weight, if you're posting, you're talking to your friends and sometimes even family members, which can be a little bit discouraging. A lot of these people will not understand and that's fine. It's also our job in a sense to let them know, hey, this is the path that I'm taking. This is what I've decided to do. Hopefully you understand. But if you don't just realize that I don't need you in particular for this, you know, this is I'm doing this for me. And that is not a bad thing to let them know that, that you are doing something for yourself. You ultimately need to take care of yourself, but make sure you don't listen to the haters. People will always say something. They will always comment. You know, you got there with steroids. You got there with vitamins. You are not natural. All these things like, oh, you're naturally gifted. People think that because I have big arms that I was, that they were just naturally there. Just because they see me curling sometimes 45, they're like, oh, you're definitely not natural. Like. Guys, I, I've never had the need to use any steroids or anything, but even when you use those, it is not as easy as you guys think. So don't acknowledge these people's comments. Just do your thing. Again, set those blinders on. You guys know what the goal is. Just keep at it, ignore the rest. And finally, number seven, this one goes along with all of them guys it will not be easy let me be the first one to tell you it just won't be easy you're cutting weight you're putting your body in a caloric deficit which means that you're putting your body through an adaptation phase which means that with adaptation comes growth but growth does not come for free guys that's just it period it's gonna be hard doesn't matter how many supplements you take doesn't matter how many pds you take it doesn't matter what all these people are telling you it doesn't matter how many coaches you have it does. these things potentially do make it easier and i have made a video i'll go ahead and i'll post a link to it up here there are supplements that will make it easier for you whether it is you tend to lose cognitive function when you're in a diet you know when you're in a caloric deficit whether it is your mood is just crap because let's be honest who likes to be in a caloric deficit some people get hangry and it's perfectly normal so just know that the path will not be easy but do realize that once you come out on the other side even if you get some of the results and not even all the results that you were expecting just think about it you've progressed one step closer to your actual goal you might not be at four percent body fat shredded but let's say you got to nine from maybe twenty percent that is massive. Look at the overall picture. Make sure you realize that it, it's the path, guys. Because once you get down to that 4%, then what? You know, try to enjoy it as much as possible. Once again, it won't be easy, but do realize that as you're going, there's just no way around it. Embrace the suck. <laughs> Hopefully you realize that all these things happen in most of people's diets. So do realize that this, these seven things are very normal occurrences. So don't stress out too much about it. Just make sure you kind of keep tabs on all of them. Again, get rid of the haters. Make sure you're getting enough calories in. Don't go in too big of a caloric deficit. Make sure you keep tabs of what's happening in the mirror, what's happening in the scale. All those things just compound, you know, and you having the proper knowledge will just help you get to your final destination a lot faster and in a way better state of mind and realizing that this is just how it is guys but with that being said guys thanks for joining me on another episode comment if you liked subs if you liked and i'll be seeing you on the next episode say out peace